Welcome to the 2018 Games Begin. Please welcome the CEO of the German Game Industry Association, Game, and host of Gamescom, Felix Falk. Once there was a vision. A vision of a place where it doesn't matter who you are or where you are from. A place where everybody is happy. This is the biggest consumer gaming show in the world, so for us it's extremely important. Welcome, we are not in Gotham anymore, to Gamescom. Whoa. Welcome to the origin of this success story. This is Russian Gross. Live here from Gamescom, Cologne. It boggles the mind. I honestly don't know how a show can be so big and still manage to function. Ready for Gamescom 2018. As far as gaming conventions are concerned, this is the best one on the planet. The Gamescom is the biggest. If you get out to the streets of Köln, it's all about games. You know, walls, uh, trams, buses, people, taxis. Everybody speaks, breathes, and radiates games, games, games. I'm starting to like this place. Vielen Dank, Gamescom. Schön, dass es euch gibt. Dankeschön. Thank you for being part of it. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Please welcome the CEO of Supermassive Games. Please wel Please welcome the CEO of the German Game Industry Association, Game and host of Gamescom, Felix Falk. <laughs> Hello. Herzlich willkommen zur Gamescom 2018. Endlich geht's los. Wir haben hier das größte und aufregendste Game-Event der Welt. Und ich freue mich total drauf. Ich kann mir vorstellen, dass einige im Saal sich auch schon drauf freuen. Wie sieht's aus? Wir erwarten hunderttausende Besucher hier in Köln und Millionen digitale Besucher weltweit. Wir freuen uns in diesem ganz besonderen Jahr, wir feiern zehn Jahre Gamescom, da freuen wir uns auf etwas ganz Besonderes. Heute haben wir zum ersten Mal in dieser Eröffnung Weltpremieren, die wir präsentieren. Ich kann mir vorstellen, dass einige Gaming-Fans hier es kaum abwarten können, oder? Games sind natürlich fantastische Unterhaltung, aber Games sind auch Kulturgut, Wirtschaftskraft und Innovationstreiber und deswegen freue ich mich, dass wir auch ganz viele politische Ehrengäste heute hier haben. Ich kann gar nicht alle nennen, so viele sind es, will aber kurz nennen Dorothee Bär, Staatsministerin für Digitales im Kanzleramt, Armin Laschet, Ministerpräsident von Nordrhein-Westfalen, der Kulturminister von unserem diesjährigen Partnerland Spanien, José Girao und die Oberbürgermeisterin von Köln, Henriette Reker. Sie alle und alle anderen ganz herzlich willkommen. 
Das Motto der diesjährigen Gamescom ist Vielfalt gewinnt. Gerade in diesen Zeiten, wo wir uns gemeinsam weltweit für mehr Vielfalt und Miteinander und gegen Diskriminierung und Rassismus einsetzen müssen, gerade in dieser Zeit lohnt es sich, auf die Welt der Spiele und der Spieler zu schauen. Gamer, das sind heute genauso Alte wie Junge, genauso Frauen wie Männer, genauso Menschen mit Behinderung wie Menschen ohne Behinderung. Gamer, das sind Menschen jeglicher Religion, Hautfarbe und Nationalität. Und trotz beziehungsweise gerade wegen dieser Vielfalt spielen sie alle friedlich gemeinsam zusammen und bilden eine großartige Gemeinschaft. Das erleben wir auch hier auf der Gamescom. Und wenn wir uns jetzt alle mal vorstellen, das wäre überall in unserer Gesellschaft so, ich glaube, es gäbe nichts Schöneres. Games sind das Leitmedium unserer heutigen Zeit. Die Entwicklerinnen und Entwickler von Spielen, die erreichen weltweit mit ihren Geschichten Millionen, Milliarden von Spielern. In Deutschland gibt es leider noch nicht so viele, die in die Welt strahlen, nicht so viele Spiele. Da müssen wir noch nachlegen, wenn es um den Entwicklerstandort geht. Und deswegen freue ich mich, dass die Bundeskanzlerin Angela Merkel im letzten Jahr zusammen mit ganz vielen Politikern aller Parteien angekündigt hat, hier noch mehr tun zu wollen für den Entwicklerstandort Deutschland. Unser Konzept, das haben wir vorgelegt, jetzt muss es auch bald losgehen, damit auch wir yes. noch mehr so zu dieser großartigen the Vielfalt they really have der to, um, beitragen können. Walk the talk so that we can actually promote Germany as a base for business and we will see some great announcements soon. But first of all, to all of you, have a fantastic Gamescom 2018. Thank you so much. Please welcome the CEO of Supermassive Games, Pete Samuels. Thank you. I, uh, I feel very honored to have been invited here today to this um, prestigious ceremony to represent the talented teams at Supermassive Games and to be speaking to you all about our latest game announcement. Now this particular announcement represents a significant milestone for our studio in more ways than one. And it's something that we believe the fans of our previous games have been patiently waiting for. You see, at Supermassive, we have a clear aim to deliver powerful cinematic stories, games that innovate in the space, that drive this particular genre forward in some way, Games that immerse players in the characters and the narrative and the manner in which they interact with each to create their own personal, emotional experience. And with these as the core values of Supermassive, we're very pleased and very proud to announce today the Dark Pictures Anthology. Brought to you through a new and exciting partnership between Supermassive and Bandai Namco Entertainment, The Dark Pictures is a series of intense, standalone horror games, each featuring a different cast of characters, a different setting, and calling on different subgenres of the many available from the palette of horror. Each also delivering more of that cinematic, immersive terror that people who play our games have been asking us for almost every day for the past three years. And in each of the dark pictures, your decisions, your reactions to horror thrown at you will determine who will and who won't survive in these thrilling narrative journeys. The first of the games in the anthology is to be Man of Madame. And we're incredibly excited to be announcing this as the opener of the Gamescom 2018 conference. It will be playable on the show floor at the Bandai Namco Entertainment booth, where you'll be able to play the game on PlayStation 4. That said, for the first time since we founded our studio 10 years ago this month, we'll deliver the dark pictures as multi-platform games for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. 
with enhanced features for Pro and X. We are delighted that a wider range of people will now be able to enjoy the games that we create. Thank you, and I hope you'll enjoy this taste of Man of Madame, the first game from the Dark Pictures Anthology. I've never been down there before. Down? Diving. This is Alex. What's up, man? Conrad. Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Who wants to find some sunken treasure? You good? More or less. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors. It was insane. It was like traveling through time. Should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. Oh, damn. Every single thing you bring back has an essence. I told you to leave everything down there alone. We have unexpected guests. What are you doing?
please welcome creative director from Me, 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 Dominique Abba. Hello, Zudam. <laughs> thank you. Hello, everyone, and thank you. On behalf of the entire Mimi Me, Me, Me team, I'm proud to present today uh, a new and announce today a new Desperados uh, in cooperation with TH uh, Nordic. 17 years ago, the first Desperados was launched on the market. Uh, there were actually to attract a bandido with a tequila bottle and actually to come around the corner with a cowboy, throw a knife at his back, and then the guy who's uh, actually observed it uh, actually is uh, sent um, into the back and beyond uh, with a sharpshooter. But it only works after hours of planning. But then was a time when top-down and techniques was no longer cool. For 10 years, there was no game of this kind, no desperados, no commandos. So, but uh, two years ago, we revived the industry with shadow tactics. And now we have uh, the great opportunity to work on a new desperados, which is uh, it just it, it is going to be a hardcore stealth game. In the tradition of the series, you will see new characters, old characters, you will blow up bridges, uh, also gate crash weddings. Uh, we at Mimimi will do our best to develop the best of the desperados that you're ever going to play. Please welcome the Prime Minister of North Rhine-Westphalia, Amin Lushit. Madam Mayor, Minister of State Bear, Mr. Falk, Tobias Hans, Premier from the Saar, Ladies and gentlemen, and dear minister from Spain, we are happy that this year Spain is the sponsoring country of Gamescom, the partner country. A warm welcome to you and to all the visitors and guests, gamers from Spain. It's very good to have you. Thanks for being with us today. Gamescom, the 10th Gamescom. This was mentioned a number of times before. I don't have to repeat it again. I remember still when it got all started 10 years ago and how the computer games started in the first place. Uh, these uh, mass products uh, for uh, leisure time purposes. This was great fun at the time, but not for a very long time. Today, games are entertainment. They are challenging for gamers. They uh, tell complex stories, and they contain messages and characters. Uh, and this is why in Northern Australia we said we want, as you said it before, Minister, we want to actually make it stronger, this industry, this location here for this industry. And through the Media and Film Foundation, in a few months, we will have doubled the funds for what a state government can do. And this has to go on. This has to keep going, because we know we are in European competition, of course. And this European competition, strangely enough, has different conditions in this uh, internal market in Europe. And here, I think we have to make sure that the location of Germany, that those developers in Germany have the same uh, opportunities, the same conditions, and get the same support as in other countries. In Brussels, we make every effort at the moment that from next year, the production of uh, games uh, 
can be supported with up to 500,000 euros per game for the mass market. So this is part of competition. Uh, having the same conditions across the board. I've never heard so many positive reports and read so many positive reports uh, as after last year. Uh, people said, well, games, this is uh, tricky, whether the children are allowed to do it. But when the federal chancellor was here and said, this is good, then the people said it can't be all that bad. Then we have to take it forward. And this is why we have the lighting here. This was organized by the uh, uh, city and paid for by the state. We will do it together, this light show, and to send out a signal to all those who haven't had anything to do with games before. You have a very special event in your city, and we hope that many, many people will enjoy the cultural program in the city next to the trade show halls in order to feel and radiate this particular atmosphere. And with this in mind, I wish a successful outcome to the Gamescom 2018 and fresh inspiration and ideas and success for the industry at large. Thank you very much and all the best to you. Please welcome Creative Director from Square Enix, Michelle Koch. Thank you. Um, four years ago, uh, we were here um, at Gamescom with uh, Raoul Barbet to present our first game as directors, Life is Strange. And the reception you gave us uh, was amazing and heartwarming. And that's why I'm extremely proud, proud and honored to be here again today um, to present Life is Strange 2 to the world. <laughs> Thank you. After the success um, of the first game, we challenged ourselves um, and with our talented team at Don't Know Entertainment to create um, a new experience, something different and something original, but while still keeping the core concept of the first game and expanding them to create our most ambitious uh, project to date. And um, we can't wait to think what the player will think about it, but let's see a trailer first. I have no idea where we are. Feels like we're walking nowhere. I don't think Daniel understands what's going on. I can't tell him the truth now. I just can't. How am I supposed to take care of us out here? Nothing we can't do, as long as we're together. Thank you. So the game will be, a, a section of the game will be playable on the show during all the week, so I hope that we will come and test it. And we can't wait for you to discover the new story of our new characters, Sean and Daniel Diaz. So thank you very much, and have a great Gamescom. Please welcome the Managing Director of Ubisoft Blue Byte, Benedict Grindel. Two thousand and eighteen is a very special year for us at Ubisoft Blue Byte. We have opened a new studio in Berlin. We are celebrating the twentieth anniversary of Anno, 
and you can play the amazing Anno 1800 on our booth in Hall 6 during Gamescom. We are also celebrating 30 years of Blue Byte this year, which makes us one of the oldest studios in Germany. 30 years old, but younger than ever. And we are also celebrating, last not least, the 25th anniversary of one of our signature brands, the Settlers. The Settlers, the Settlers has introduced the term wuselig to the English language, <laughs> which basically describes the bustling atmosphere that you create in your settlements when you play the game. And to celebrate these 25 years of wuselig, I am very happy to announce today that we will bring enhanced version of the classic Settlers 1 to 7 games to you play this year. Please enjoy the trailer of The Settlers History Edition. See you soon! And as you have seen, the Settlers History Edition will be available on November 15th this year. The Settlers would not be here without one man. So please welcome on stage the inventor of the Settlers, Volker Wertig. It is very exciting that Bluebyte and Ubisoft enable us now to play all the classic Settler game on modern PCs. This will bring back so many beautiful memories. I still remember back in 1993 when Bluebyte was still something like a startup. And I personally was just finishing school, starting to create the first Settlers game on the Amiga at home in my living room. <laughs> and if you want to experience that nostalgia, you don't have to wait until November, because you can start getting Settlers 1 on Uplay starting today and download it to your PC. You can also go to our booth in Hall 6, grab a keycard with a code and download it. And if you want to play it here, you can go to the India Arena booth in Hall 10 and play Settlers 1, 2, 3 and 4 at Gamescom this week. And there is more. There is one more thing we want to share with you today. It is finally time to announce our new project, a game made in Germany with a truly global ambition, a, team for which, a game for which we have been able to put a team together that is outstanding and super experienced. And I am proud to say Volker is a part of that team. It's time to be wuselig once again. <laughs> Today, I'm very pleased to announce a totally new The Settlers game that will be released in fall 2019. We will bring back the unique gameplay experience from previous The Settlers title and combine it with new, exciting game systems and fantastic graphics. 
Today we can finally reveal it. Please enjoy the first trailer of the new Settlers. To get a first glimpse at the new settlers, please visit the Ubisoft launch in Hall 6. Make sure to check it out and have a great show. Please welcome the Federal Government Commissioner for Digital Affairs, Minister of State, Dorothy Baer. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to follow up from Mr. Grindel. We are seeing the 10th anniversary of Gamescom, 20 years of Anno, 30 years of Blue Byte, and I just turned 40, so the whole gaming industry is growing older, but of course growing bigger and bigger, you know, all these uh, bigger, better, greater, but Felix Falk, we may need bigger halls in future because there are so many politicians here, more than ever before. Sorry for the wild card uh, holders, but it's positive, and it's positive that you don't only have the mayoress, the premier from North Westphalia, and the premier from Saarland, who does not need to be here, really. I'm, I, I'm great. Uh, I find this commitment really great. Thanks for coming to be us. Of course, Your Excellency, Mr. Girau, uh, thank you for coming here and being our partner country. We're happy to see so many Spanish visitors, but my colleague from Austria, Margarita Schramburg, is also here. Uh, why uh, did she come? Uh, I actually visited her in Salzburg, and I found that uh, the digital uh, administration in Salzburg works much better than here in Germany. So she asked me, what are your Germans better at? And I said, well, we're better at gaming. So, Margrethe, you can get some first-hand experience to see that I was right, right? And Armin, you actually gave me the cue, the chancellor. Two years ago, I promised that the federal chancellor would be here. I didn't say when. Fortunately, she came here yesterday. And, of course, when you remember the A-team, I remember when a plan works out because you said that made a difference, uh, her being here. And uh, everybody says games are just great. And the only pitfall, when I look at my colleagues, you know, uh, Manuel Höferlin, Tobias Jatson, we need something else to support, to actually create more of a shock in the German parliament. To support games is no longer shocking for parliament. Nevertheless, we will continue to support Gamescom, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, we've defined the roles and responsibilities, which is quite something. And maybe it took a bit longer with a long campaign, long negotiations, coalition discussions, and finally the coalition agreement. But that was not the only reason. 
after more than 10 years where we've really where parliament has really intensively addressed the issue of digital transformation now 10 years later the situation is such that everybody wants to be responsible for it so you no longer have to clarify who will be responsible for games well there's actually competition for it even in our first digital cabinet and all the rounds of discussion and negotiation at the chancellery there are so many volunteers, everybody wants a bit of responsibility for games. And I'm really glad that the DCP is now part of the federal chancellery. So we are very fortunate to host the German Computer Games Prize uh, with the Deutsche Presseamt. And of course, that goes to the federal ministry. We have the ministry for digital uh, infrastructure as well. There are many uh, civil citizens here who showed keen interest in the Gamescom also last year. And uh, this is very good support to actually get the uh, sponsoring ready. And I spoke with the minister, Andreas Scheuer. Uh, he's sending his best regards. Uh, he's not only responsible for Mario Kart, but for all the other games as well. He is extremely delighted, and he promised to be here in 2019. So uh, our best regards to the minister in charge. But I will also take care of it together with him. And there's one last point I'd like to make. Those who can't get enough, even after all the days of the games come, who would like to see more politicians here because it's so great, can, can come back next weekend. We have uh, an open day at the federal government. And I was asked who I would like to represent association I'd like to present. And I said, well, the gaming association called GAME. I'm very pleased that GAME accepted my invitation. And uh, we will invite a gentleman to the chancellery. Mario will be there. All the DCP winners will be there. So we will see that the gaming industry will have a high profile re representation at the chancellery. So, But I'm looking forward to today in Cologne. And I hope that I will be able to dance together with the mayoress. Uh, I still remember it two years ago, Mrs. Rick, and it's still a hit on YouTube. Please welcome the CEO of Koch Media. Clemens Kundrotitz. It is a great honor to be here. Thank you very much for inviting us. We are glad to share with you some news from Deep Silver. But before we go to the future announcements, we would like to turn back and talk a bit about the past and the present. Uh, first of all, Congratulations to Gamescom, 10 years, it's an amazing uh, anniversary. And it uh, leads me to also look back to our company history. We uh, started the company in uh, 1994. And in fact, I must say, um, the German company, Koch Media, has also a fair amount of Austrian power behind it. So I think uh, that combination proved to be quite, uh, quite uh, successful and resilient. Eh? We, on the, uh, over the years, we have developed um, our uh, company with the help and the collaboration with a lot of developers, publishing partners, and um, I'm glad to say that uh, today we stand here as the leading European publishing partner, and uh, we are proud to be uh, working with uh, uh, the creme de la creme of uh, uh, published, global publishers, working with them uh, in creating and publishing their games. But now let me turn to our announcements. We, we kick off in medieval Bohemia, when we travel back to the years, uh, this year's RPG bestseller, Kingdom Come Deliverance, and will release the next DLC, The Amorous Adventures of Bold Sir Hans Capon, this early fall. Also this fall, also this fall, we are very much looking forward to our new open world racing simulation, Dakar 18, 
which we're going to show at, uh, uh, which is playable at Hall 8 as well, at uh, Hall 9. Fantasy is key in our recently announced open world RPG Outward. It's a new game IP from a very talented Canadian studio. Thanks to the split screen option, this game is set to bring a new tone to, to open world gameplay and it launches on February the 12th of next year. <laughs> Diversity wins. This year's Gamescom theme is also underlined by our classic RPG, Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm proud to tell you that this unique combination of traditional pen and paper routes uh, with modern game design is uh, coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One next year. <laughs> Our last announcement underlines the future of gaming is set here in Germany as well. It is therefore with great joy that we today reveal that our studio Deep Silver Fish Labs in Hamburg is working on the action RPG Saints Row the Third for Nintendo Switch. Let's celebrate together the return of the notorious Saints to the streets of Steelport in March next year. Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, I must say, I have one more announcement to, to make. And that is uh, a very special game. And the game is... Not, not uh, many games can say that, that they are legendary. But one of the Deep Silver games that we are uh, very much looking forward to release is Shenmue, Shenmue 3. <laughs> this third iteration of the series will launch under Deep Silver and kicks off directly after the open end of part two. And this world exclusive video here, which I'm going to present, announces the release date of Shenmue 3. And I know that the fans are waiting for a release date for a very long time, and patience is sometimes necessary, like with good wine. But before we jump into the video, I can hand over to the one and only developer and creative director at YSNet, Yu Suzuki himself, who sadly cannot uh, be here with us in Cologne, but uh, took time to send us a personal uh, greeting to all of us. So please enjoy. Minasan, konnichiwa. Kyo wa Gamescom ni mukete short trailer wo yoi shimashita. Genjitsu no sekai de wa 16 nen no saigetz ga nagare mashita ga Shenmue 3 de wa zen sak no yokujitsu kara game ga start shimasu. Minasan ni tanoshin de itadakeru to ureshii desu. Sbarashi 
かの身を滅ぼすこともかの願い叶いしこともそのものいざみ立つ時我を求めん共に荒れ野の道を行かん待ちて願い開口は我の古よりの定めなり。This concludes the 2018 Gamescom Opening Ceremony. Enjoy a full week of games here at Gamescom. And follow the show worldwide on Gamescom.global. That's supposed to happen? Gamescom is massive. It's always amazing to get to see all of these tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people come and have this amazing reaction to the games. Be sure to stay tuned for more coverage here at Gamescom. The moment I stepped off the plane, Gamescom was part of the fiber of the city. It's a phenomenon and it's something which the city lives and breathes during these weeks and days. If you look at esports, it is one of the best marketing tools for the gaming scene. It's going to continue to grow in a very stable way. Gamescom is to meet the fans because now you can see them playing and then I know why I do this job. It's like a big family gathering for us. That's why we want to make sure that our family and Gamescom can grow together bigger and better every year.